Hi, I'm Dr. Wolf. Um, I am a forensic pathologist and also you may know that as a medical examiner. Um, so they released Matthew Perry's cause of death, um, they being the medical examiner where he had his autopsy. And that cause of death indicates that he had acute ketamine intoxication with buprenorphine, coronary artery disease, and drowning as contributory factors. So what exactly does that mean? Well, ketamine is an anesthetic medication, which can be used by, you know, uh, various medical professionals to induce anesthesia, to induce unconsciousness. But um, in this case, he was apparently using it for the treatment of depression that he was suffering. And that is a, uh, a known treatment use for that. Buprenorphine was because he had a history of opioid uh, disorder, and that drug is used to help those who are suffering with an opioid disorder to try to prevent them from using. Coronary artery disease as a contributory, contributory factor indicates that he had um, probably one or more pretty serious blockages within his coronary arteries. There are three major coronary arteries, the left anterior descending, the left circumflex, and the right coronary artery, which are most uh, involved when it comes to cases of sudden death. So how does all of this fit together? Well, it means that they did the autopsy and they didn't find anything that was an absolute slam dunk, like a, a clear heart attack, a clear pulmonary embolism, a clear brain hemorrhage, uh, something like that. They did the toxicology report and uh, toxicology studies, and when the report came back, it shows the presence of ketamine and, and buprenorphine probably in levels that may have been a little bit elevated, because I doubt they would have uh, said that it was contributory unless it was recently used, uh, perhaps um, indicating that he had gone unconscious from these medications, which then caused him to go under the water, and going under the water is a form of asphyxia. Drowning is a form of asphyxia. And so coronary artery was put in there because coronary artery blockages can produce sudden cardiac arrhythmias, which can produce unconsciousness and death. So basically what they're saying is we see all these factors. We can't tell necessarily which one caused unconsciousness. We know that they may have been working together syner synergistically to produce unconsciousness uh, and then causing him to go under the water and uh, thus the drowning diagnosis. So um, there will be more details come out about this and certainly I can make videos of follow-up for this. Uh, but one thing I, I wanted to address up front is that I got a message just a few minutes ago from somebody who said, how could this be drowning? Uh, apparently they didn't find water in the lungs. And that is actually a misconception that you find water in the lungs. You have to understand, the lung is not an empty bag like a balloon. The lung is more like a sponge. If you cut a lung, it looks like a sponge. And so what happens is if you swallow water into your airway, it goes into the lungs and it just makes the lungs heavier, but you don't uh, necessarily cut the airways and water pours out like from a bottle. That's just not the way it works. Um, much more commonly with drowning cases, we see an increased lung weight or we see um, a very airy and, and distended lungs with air because people are gasping at the surface and they're trying to, to survive and they cannot because they, you know, they're being swept away or they don't know how to swim. In this case, he was in a stable pool and, uh, you know, his, his sauna or whatever and went under the water. And so in that situation, I don't think you're going to see sustained breathing and swallowing of water into the lungs. So uh, the presence or absence of water in the lungs really doesn't mean anything in this case and in most drowning cases. So, um, but this is the initial report uh, reported by the Associated Press. The Associated Press summarized the medical examiner findings. I personally have not seen the report yet. So if I do get to see the report, I can go over it uh, a little more intensely, kind of like I did with the JFK report a couple of weeks ago, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But these, these are the, the basic updates initially. And to me, the sequence, everything seems to make sense. Um, we see cases like this. I don't see ketamine 
being used very often in the area where I work, but it is uh, being used a little bit more around the country in this fashion.